Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be going through how to make really simple ocean effects. And what I'm gonna be doing to show you this is I'm just gonna be creating an ocean effect in these little wooden bowls. Um, I think they're really, really cute. And yeah, I guess other than that, let's get straight into it. So this is the resin that I'm gonna be using today. It's craft resin and it's measured by volumes. So that means the same amount part A to the same amount part B. Just remember that if you are using a different brand of resin, just to check how you mix it, cause some go by weight. So just be sure to check that. But this is what it looks like. Um, you get it in part A, which is the red in resin, and then part B, which is the hardener. Um, I have already mixed up my resin, just here. I've, so I've just got that set to one side. Um, and then I'll show you what else you need for this project. Also, just to let you know, if you want to try out craft resin, I'll leave some discount codes in the link down below. Okay, so I'm going to be using this wooden bowl to create this beautiful ocean effect. And the colours I'm going to be using is this from Craft Resin. Again, you can use the discount codes to get a little discount. Um, this is the turquoise colour. And then I'm going to be using some alcohol ink white. It just looks like this. I would recommend using the Pinata brand just because it just seems to work the best. And cheap alcohol inks can fade over time, which you don't want. And then I'm going to be using some silicone oil. Um, mine's covered in resin, but you can get this off Amazon really, really cheaply. I'm just going to get a tiny bit of this turquoise colour. It's like a very light sky blue which is absolutely beautiful. I love it so much it's one of my favourite colours. Just look, looks, looks like this. Look at that beautiful shimmer in it. It's absolutely stunning. And I'm just going to pop it into my resin and give it a gentle mix. Remember to mix nice and slowly whenever you're working with resin. This just stops any air bubbles. Um, it helps prevent like extra air bubbles which you really don't want. So I'm just going to give that a nice mix in. I've just mixed that in for a couple of minutes and this is what it's looking like. Look at that colour. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it straight into this wooden bowl. I'm just going to pinch my cup for a nice pour. And then I'm going to just pour it in like this. I'm going to scrape the sides just to make sure that I'm not missing any resin. And then I'm just going to let that sit for a few minutes just to thicken up the resin. Just to know, I've just got my heat gun ready and I'm just going to give it a quick once over. Remember when using your heat gun, you don't want to um, have it in one spot for too long because you don't want to burn your resin. I'm just going to create a few swirls within this blue, just like so. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another cup and pop some more resin in there and add some white. I've just got another cup and I'm just going to add a few drops of white in there and give that a little mix. Remember with white you don't need too much because it's going to spread out anyway. So I've just got my white, I'm just mixing that in. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one drop, no more than one drop of silicone oil. You don't wanna ever add too much silicone oil because it will give an effect on your resin that you really don't want and it can burn your resin. And give that a lit little mix. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, let me see if I can zoom you in a little bit more. And then what I'm gonna do is I've just pinched my cup like so again. And then I'm just going to create a couple of lines of white. It's the silicone oil in the white that creates the cell effect, which is really cool. Okay. And see how it's making those beautiful, beautiful cells. I absolutely love it. I'm then going to get my heat gun and just... <laughs> and see how the heat gun just brings out the little cells more. And that's it, that's all you need to do. How beautiful is that? that? This is a really simple technique on how to get those beautiful ocean waves and just to like start with the technique. Obviously there's other ways you can do this using other elements. Um, so let me know if you'd like to see more ocean effects, um, but this is definitely one way that you can do it. 
this is what it's looking like up close I absolutely love it and that's it I really hope that you enjoyed this video if you try this yourself please let me know I'd love to see remember if you're watching this on YouTube to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other videos and other than that I will see you in the next video Bye.